Hello, I'm Jesse, and welcome to Tech World, your quick roundup of some of the month's top technology news. In this episode, we bring you the latest on Dyson's plans in Singapore, Samsung's and Apple's finds, and more. For this month's Hot Topics interview, we spoke with EY's Michael von der Geest about why tech businesses should be customer obsessed. First, though, here are your top international headlines. Dyson, the UK company best known for its vacuum cleaners, has decided to build its new electric vehicle in Singapore. The car is expected to roll off the production line in 2021, and Dyson has said the decision to build it overseas was based on the availability of engineering talent, regional supply chains, and the proximity to some key territories. Dyson has insisted the decision to build the car in Asia rather than the UK had nothing to do with the UK's impending exit from the EU. Italian authorities have fined Apple and Samsung millions of euros each over planned obsolescence in smartphones. Apple was hit with a 10 million euro fine, while Samsung received a smaller bill of 5 million euros. Apple and Samsung implemented unfair commercial practices, the Italian Competition Authority said in a statement. Samsung said it was disappointed with the decision and said it would appeal. In a somewhat surprising twist of affairs, Sir Nick Clegg, the former leader of the Liberal Democrats and ex-Deputy Prime Minister, has taken a top job at Facebook. Clegg will join the tech giant as its head of global affairs and communications team. It comes after Facebook faced intense scrutiny as well as the threat of government regulation following the Cambridge Analytica data scandal and alleged election meddling. That's it for our top global tech news roundup, but keep watching to see this episode's Hot Topics interview. We spoke with EY's Michael von der Geest about platforms and customer experience. There's a lot of talk about um, being customer obsessed as a company, but what does that really mean? I think for me, it really means getting really deep understanding of who your end customer is. Who is your consumer? What do they care about? Not just what you think they want, but actually what are their, what we talk about, are their unmet needs? What are their real desires? How do you actually start to get into that? And how do you use data to actually understand that and pivot towards giving them what they want. That's what I think is the big difference now. That's what we mean by obsessing about the customer. Deep understanding, data-driven, and getting to what is their unmet needs as well as what you think they want. Okay, how is it that you can keep that focus as you scale as a company? Well, I think what's interesting is, I think if you look back at the history of companies, I think for the last you know, 100 years or so, companies have built up around functions, mm -hmm. structures, scale. It's about you know, efficiency, it's about cost, it's about margin. And actually, you see what's happening in the world now. The, the organisations that are winning actually don't have those structures. They don't have those silos. They haven't built those up over hundreds of years. And they actually start from what does the customer want and how am I going to best serve them? And I think the biggest thing all organisations are going to do, if you're a large organisation, you're going to remove barriers, remove silos, and give people the tools to deliver removable friction, innovation, and reimagination of that consumer experience. If you're a startup scaling out, the thing you've got to do is avoid building those classic functional silos which turn into engines of their own making. So in your opinion, where do you think companies tend to go wrong? I think it's on three dimensions. I think I've already talked about the structures getting in the way uh, and the organisation getting in the way, frankly, and, 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 and that's a big issue. I think the second thing is, I think there's a, especially in the Western organisations, I think there's this notion that the most important person must have the right opinion. Mm -hmm. They must be right. Mm -hmm. Hippos, as we call them, highest important person's opinion. It's frankly wrong. What you need to start doing is use the data to allow you to understand what the customer wants getting deeper on customer research. People aren't really going deep, they're going pretty shallow, and they're not really getting inside their, their consumer's head and what will really help them in their lives. I think they're, they're the big things around that. And a lot of that is actually human behavior, when you get down to it. It's about humans behaving in the right way. And, and that's the biggest thing that we're focused on, is getting the people to start working in different ways, using agile business methods, lean start up, test and learn and then scale the winners. That level of change sounds really easy, it's just a set of words. Actually putting that into organisations is phenomenally difficult because people have behaved in these ways for a long time. 
And on that note, actually, you raised some really interesting points. So what would you say are the key hires in terms of a team if a company is to then continue on their journey of being customer obsessed? So I'd say there's four things. Uh, the things that I'm looking for all the time in my teams as well, because we work with clients and service them around this, is product managers, mm -hmm. people who understand product, they want to ship product, they want to get it out to the market quickly and, and the notion of product management is becoming more and more the norm. The world of calling people project managers, it's gone. Mm -hmm. It's all about product managers. The second area is service designers. Even if you deliver a, a, a tangible product in a store, any like that, the actual thing you're thinking about is the service. How do you design the service back to front to really meet customer needs? That's a particular skill set mm -hmm. which is hard to find in the market. The next one is, is what I term polymath techies. Just means techies who know loads about everything. They're, 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 they're voracious in their knowledge, they want to be at the forefront of what's happening, and they're, they're really, really important to this because of the notion of technology delivering in marketing, through sales, into service, and into product delivery. So I think that's phenomenally important. And then the final bit, which Frankly, it's a hot, hot market in London at the moment, in particular around that is data science. That's that data. And I think, but I actually, I, I look for people who can give me insight from data, not people who can mine data, and big data lakes and all that sort of stuff. Data insight is what I'm really interested in. And I think if I was starting a company and I was thinking about my amazing idea, I'd go on, they'd be my first four hires notwithstanding making sure I get some sales people who can actually drive the sure. forward, of course. <laughs> to get some revenue along the way. Um, and on that note, what are your key um, pieces of like takeaway advice for people watching the video? If you're gonna get started, think about bringing down your silos. And how do you do that? What do you, what do you kind of have as a talk track? Go into your organization and talk about two things all the time. Remove the friction, remove the friction, remove the friction from the organization now. Anything the consumer doesn't like, remove that friction. Reimagine that experience altogether. Run those in parallel. So that's where you draw in your innovation, the new technology, enablers that are coming in, be it blockchain, be it automation, artificial intelligence, that's your reimagination stream. So set all your organization up around those two themes and make that happen. That's, that's what you've got to do to get started. And I think we're talking about this a lot with our clients. That's, that's how, what we support. Mm -hmm. We help them build what we term ecosystems. It's not about getting just a single supplier or a single group of people. You've got to get people to team together to build this up. And actually, we're running a session with a, with a group of clients. Uh, we're going to be running that in Rivington Street in our EY Seren, our design studios there. Um, and it's a really important day. It's the 28th of November and it's my birthday. Oh. So I would expect lots of people want to come along for that. There'll be cakes. It'll be reception area, you know, it'll be, it'll be a pretty chilled out vibe, I think. Um, so if you want to come along, it's all about co-creation though. It's about having that collaborative discussion. We haven't got all the answers. I don't think any client's got all the answers. I don't think any service provider or consultant's got the answers. It's a collaboration session just to talk about how do you obsess about consumer experience and build that into your business platform. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much. That's all for this episode. To get more top tech news straight to your inbox, visit www.uktech.news.